Okay. Okay, a little better. Good. How are you? Fine. Hey, do you think... Do you worry? Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? Ignore you spoken in Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right then, cowpoke. Not taking much sense, huh? No. Everything okay? I wonder if I'll yeah. ever not smell a campfire Apart from again. Mrs. Adler's constant complaining. Well, <laughs> can't do much about that. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yep, should buy us a bit of time, I hope. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. I don't know, son, I don't know what I do. Apart from wishing I wasn't going to find out sooner than I'd like. What do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. Some provisions there, do you, Arthur? How are things? It's the wrong time to ask. Hey, Arthur. Tell 
mind me, Miss Grimshaw. You okay? Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yes, see you later. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. You gotta find us some food or some money, Arthur. I know. Thank you. What are you doing, Miss Jones? Make sure Baylock gets some of that. How you doing, old friend? Fine. <coughs> it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this 
Warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble burst a few. Come on, Jose. Let's go fish. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire. Why don't we just fish here? Ah, oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. What are you riding off for? You were saying before you rode off on me? Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa. Gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I well, see well, well look who it is. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. Now, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we, can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys, I can't have more scandal. Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur. Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that. What do you think you're doing? Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Hey, settle down. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Hey, cut that out. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. 
faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Hey, stop that. What are you waiting for? I'm out right here. Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. Will you stop that? The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. What the hell are you doing? Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. You cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. 
That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and the Braithwaites. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold. And marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. 